house really thick density and we're gonna apply it just I try to do just a little bit right here and maybe on the metals and no wipe top coat I am going to get the compartments from uh, anniversary second anniversary kits and it has some of my neon it looks go well with this one um did you see my picker somewhere nope i just have it right here it's weird what? sorry i just have everything ready here and Crystal picker uh, is disappear on me. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's hidden behind the yes. stuff. Okay, so now we wanna doing a no wipe top coat. I don't know what happened, or maybe is um. Space out, Marista. Yes, Marisa. <laughs> life for us. She said is remind me of bikini bottom. <laughs> it looks cool though. It does. So you're gonna floating on the top of the unclear condensed blue gel. Yes Marisa so then I'm gonna explain um let me read your comments quick in just a little bit and I can able to explain it more. So I'm gonna using is right here. And with this, I do not want to do so much. You can do more, but I don't want to take it away from uh, that the two marbles uh, like combinations together we should do using my frame right there So I'm gonna pick gold only. You can do gold and silver, you can do obsidian, you can do rose gold. I think it doesn't matter if whatever you pick is gonna look really cool. I just want just a little bit hint of our crystal uh, placements. Because all else I start place everything and we don't see anything underneath which is I really like, but we want to see the look because that's what I get this design says plan out for you. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in today. Looks good though. It doesn't have to be an accessory stay by itself. But it can be. Sorry.
Can you move that one away, please? It's hard for me to try to be really cool and simple. I think I really like this one. So the best way when you place this crystal placement to be really successful with what you're doing with Chen Fufui and crystal placement and you are placing them really tight together, closer is better. Um, I can go on and on but I'm afraid of I'm gonna start doing a lot of crystals on it so it's too cute I am going to keep it for 60 seconds now and we are going to using the next one with uh, weaver strips. So if you don't have weaver gels, that's totally fine. Something you will alternate. It's not gonna be exactly the same with weaver gel because you get more control of weaver gel what you would like to. But if you have your um, weaver strips, it's also work as well. So I have uh, this really cool marble designs like this. I really like these two colors because so strong pigment, so then you can do incorporate with your um, fusioning as well. So if you like the look like that, you can do reverse. You can do is like um, on the fusioning, or you have some other colors is similar. I'm trying to get the color for you. Um, uh, I think it, this color is welcome hooks. You can use this and then put this over and then do a different design. It's gonna turn out really cool. Hmm, it looks really cool though. And we're gonna using um, precision glue on this one and then we can move on to the next one. To double secure, if you are first time tuning in, which I'm using it right now, is one of my bestie for crystal placements. And I am going to, each time you just need to squeeze out a little bit, but I don't squeeze it out anything now. Uh, I am going to do that right after I feel any cracks and edges um, between crystals. Uh, and the top cap that I took off, it will take me to the needles part, which is I can really, really is do a little exam between those charms and all the bars i'm doing it right now and i will squeeze it out as i needed it but each time you're using you just need just a little bit you don't need a whole lot to go with this and make sure you don't want to place this and squeeze this on the top of Uh, crystal because it's going to destroy the beautiful look of your uh, crystal shines and the cut so i am going to using a twin tip brush on the other end i'm just using it to apply the condensed glue gel but the other end i can use it for do a lot of details work as you seeing it before i did and i'm gonna just give it a swipe on the side to blend out all my extra con um, precision glue so then when i cure it's gonna look so nice and is avoiding a lot of like lumpy bumpy look all right so cure for 60 seconds what's fusioning mean fusioning uh sonia is fusioning is um in the base in the alcohol and sometimes you can hear that it'll say um, marbling or alcoholing but the formula is really different a thinner um and easy to use, but also it's have really um, thick, I mean that really pigmented, like you can see the color just by one time of just dab it on the nails.
Hi, Sarah. Oh, I'm so glad that Sarah here because I didn't get to see you earlier. Hi, uh, Bonnie. Hi, Bella. Hi, Fire Goodness. Hi, Foxy. Marisa. Uh, Marie's nails. All right, so Marisa has the questions earlier. Oh. Shows, shows you how to put it down nice and doesn't get it crumbled up. Gotcha. So you got space in the middle and look weird. So make sure that you apply um, the chanfer foil gels. It's complete for the nails. I am going to do it again for this one. And if you want to apply, it doesn't matter if you're using this chanfer foil or you're using uh, this chanfer foil. Either way, you make sure you apply it completely covers the nails. You don't want to miss any spot. All right, this is the final look for these beautiful nails.